the way that the father the way that god is glorified is that we bear much fruit right this is uh john 15 and 8 this is the main benefit of us manifesting the fruit of the spirit now what we see a lot of times is we see a lot of people in christianity who are who are professing salvation who are gifted who show forth gifts of the spirit who show forth prophecy and healing and all these different gifts they may be anointed to do this to preach they may be anointed to be a pastor they may be anointed to evangelize they may be anointed to do all these things but listen to me those things are not fruit they are gifts those things are there to benefit. Those gifts are there to benefit the body. The gifts are there to benefit those who are already saved. They help to perfect us. Okay. Now, the fruit. The fruit are there so that those who don't know God. Will want him. Okay. That's why it says herein is my father glorified. The father don't need to be glorified to people who already give him glory. Do that make sense? The father don't need to be the father don't need to be highlighted to people who already honor him and exalt him. The father needs to be glorified to those who don't see why he why it's necessary to go to church, who don't see why it's necessary to uh, praise God, to pray, to to repent and get saved. They don't see the benefit in that. So that's why we bear these fruit. And so those who bear those fruit are Jesus's disciples. You're not a disciple just because you say I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ. You're not a disciple just because you went to the altar and repeated the sinner's prayer. That doesn't make you a disciple. You are a disciple based on John 15 and 8 because you bear much fruit. Not you bear, you bear fruit one time. You bear much fruit. What it means to be a disciple, it means to be a pupil, a student. Somebody who is sitting at the feet of the master, desiring to learn and, in, and putting to action what they are learning. So those, the disciples, even remember, the disciples were the ones who got uh, uh, the special revelation. They were the ones who the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven was revealed to. So all those benefits, all those perks are based on the fact that you produce little fruit, much fruit, no fruit, good fruit, bad fruit. It, it depends on your production of fruit. So the main benefit of manifesting the fruit of the spirit is to glorify the father. The fruit of the spirit help us to win souls. They help us to show others that God is real when they see that this person loves me in spite of my stealing from them. When they see that this person is showing meekness towards me, regardless of how harsh I've been to them. When they see that this person is joyful in a situation that should not bring joy. They begin to say, who is this God that they serve? Who is this this Jesus that they talking about? OK, that's what we want to point out initially. Right. The main reason in us doing this whole thing, the whole point of this is so that we show forth, okay, so that we show forth the glory to our Father. Sometimes there are people who are doing this Christian thing for their own sakes. They do this, that's why it's, that's why it's a scripture that says, uh, as many that will say, Lord, Lord, have I not prophesied in your name? Have I not cast out demons? Have I not healed the sick? Have I not done all these gifting things? They're not fruit. You can't go to hell for producing fruit of the spirit. I need y'all to hear me. You will not go to hell for producing fruit of the spirit because because what God wants from us. The more that you read the Bible, the more that you realize God wants those who will produce after his kind. God wants those who will uh, make more disciples, make more um christians make more believers right and so when you put yourself in a place that you are benefiting from your gift more than you are serving by your fruit you need to watch out 
if you are in a place where you are benefiting more from your gift rather than serving with your fruit, you need to be careful because you could very, 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 very closely end up in that scripture where it says, they say, Lord, Lord, have I not prophesied? Have I not cast out demons? Have I not healed the sick and all these different type of things? But then it says right after that, Jesus is going to say, depart from me because I never knew you. They didn't produce any fruit. So even though we desire gifts and even though gifts are the more popular things, even though gifts are the eye opener, the fruit is what the father sees and says, that's mine. The fruit is what the father relates to. It's about your fruit. Just cause it looks sloppy, it don't mean that it's a sloppy Joe, the eyes can be deceiving They said they had your back, but they went there right when you need them You heard her say she loved you later on, so she was cheating Tried to tell you that she wasn't the one, but we disobedient It ain't many who I'm trusting, but just know I'm trusting Jesus We don't wanna listen to the things that's the most important We be worried about that quick cash and them cars that's imported On our list above prayer, we got the newest pair of joints Give me a feature, Caleb Gordon, uh.